what, and Destiny's really gonna manage to stay alive if not being put at a huge disadvantage. So they're just they're just trading tech advantages here. Absolutely, but that has allowed uh, Protect to go ahead and establish himself a second base. And because Destiny is just down to one and that lair had been taken out for so long, um, that infestation pit was only just started a few seconds ago, so that is a significant setback. And Protect appears to have enough roaches that he can start to actually make a pretty big attack of his own. At the same time, power moving out all these <laughs> units jumping onto the high ground. That's a fun bug. <laughs> That was awesome. All the Marauders just kind of jumping up there and having a good time. Um, but Destiny and Minigun look like they want to start to engage these forces. Take a look at the workers, counts. There is a significant advantage for Minigun and Destiny, which means that their army is actually quite a bit smaller in comparison here. Yeah, Minigun only has eight fighting units. <laughs> He's got four stalkers and four sentries. Destiny has the bulk of the army there with all those roaches. And Protag moving now with a ton of his own roaches. Is actually building six more even right now. Hatchery finally being replaced there for Destiny. Protect has arrived. He's going to start attacking these sentries. Force hills go down, so he might as well not even try to run. Uh, just kind of pointless. Might want to just focus down those sentries first there. We do see a little bit of that. And yeah, power Protect actually flanking now, just finishing up everything that Destiny had there. Minigun again with very little units forces them to GG out and power tech, comprised of hack Protect and power. Taking a quick one game lead. Maybe not a quick one game lead, a very, you know, m medium length game. Good, yeah. Good, good length game. A lot of early two. aggression. You know, honestly, uh, after all that early aggression and how far back that Protech was, um, I really thought that they were going to be on the back foot. And somehow, Power, even though he was expanding and going to tech, all of a sudden just like pulls units out of the air, does a significant amount of damage. So, congratulations to uh, them. They do go up one to nothing in the series. Destiny Minigun got to do something, they've got to make it happen. Yeah, I'm wondering if um, they're still feeling bad about that forfeit loss in the winner's bracket and now dropping a game to, to uh, PowerTech can't make them feel too good about it, uh, their situation right now. They're one game away from elimination.